Hello and welcome back to another episode of Pop Culture Reacts as we have stumbled across something new. Um, a Maxim the Hormone cottage band called Cotterly. Um, yes. We try to work out what this is or where this comes from. Um, our very we quick saw. research says they're a franchise. We, we um, I mean, this will time us for when this actually comes out. But when it, when uh, we saw it, it, it'd been out a month. We were just talking about um, a bit more on the channel, and and UI spied it. So we went, oh, new song, and then yeah, we started to dig, and and, and digging was actually quite hard. But um, but yeah, as you say, like the only thing we've been able to find is is that there are franchise bands. So potentially, there's other um, tracks out there, and we're not massively sure what a franchise band. <laughs> is um yes yeah, so i'm more aware of franchises knows. in fast food <laughs> rather than music yeah so anyone that understands how this all works please let us know in the comments before we go into this um what i do know is it is a version of choo choo lovely um which is uh on the third maximum hormone album um it is a song that i like a lot um it's one that you've not heard yet. No, you've not no. heard the original yet. I'm hearing uh, it by the franchise first. Is this like uh, I can't even do a food one because like got franchise um, food places. They all do the same food anyway. It's not like there's a. <laughs> I'm not a meat eater, so I, I wouldn't anyway. But it's not like there's a place where you go and get the best McDonald's burger ever. They're all the same, aren't they? So I wonder whether like that's. I wonder whether that's a trick here though. Is is and you'll be able to tell me afterwards. Is this kind of a a cover that is um like a, i'm gonna say an eighth performance but in that concept of going can we do it pretty much the same as he did or or actually is the franchise element of go have our songs and do something wonderful and new and different with them yes so shall we find out what is this and what's going on yes and uh thank you very much for the intro screen here which helped helped me track some of the information down <laughs> right let's do this
They, what do we reckon? I, and I again, like... I'm asking that because obviously you, you've got like an awareness of the original and, and yeah, that, but... I I like that they've they've changed enough of it by adding the, the, the a lot of the EDM bits are them that that's not what is in in the the match and the hallway version. I did wonder because I quite like those bits. The it's a it's a take on it and it's doing doing it but changing it just enough that it, i really like that and i'm i'm intrigued by this to the point of i yeah. want to find out more about this cassettely and why have i not heard why they only before. just being thrust into your life um yeah i mean yeah. I, I i would say um comparatively um that there were parts of it where i was kind of going oh i, w- I wish I, I I wish I'd listened to the maximum the hormone version first, I guess, but yeah. not to the detriment of this. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was really good. Um, and, and and I can see the kind of maximum the hormone DNA throughout, like where it transitions in and out. Um, uh, but my my love for maximum the hormone does lead me to kind of go. I feel like uh, some of the delivery of it would be better um, with them, but yeah, it's certainly probably the same as you i went yep i want to hear more of these i'll be very interested to see what else they do where else they go do they do songs that aren't um maximum the hormone covers um but yeah very interested um yeah. I, I, kind of, I just kind of really like the style i i think um i'm gonna use the term flitting which is a term i don't use very often but flitting um, between kind of musical genres um singing styles etc etc um mm. has it's been something that I've generally liked, but it's been even more of a revelation since um, we've we've gone into the maximum the hallway world and a bit of a lilt of what we see with uh, a lot of uh, a lot of the Japanese bands we've covered is, is genre bending, isn't it? And yeah. um, the the these guys and then by extension a franchise band of those, whatever that may mean. Again, <laughs> tell us in the comments what that means. Um, um, yeah, like it, it doesn't feel forced. It, it it actually feels kind of natural when they do it. Yeah, as, as I said, I love the original of this. So this is one of those that this could have gone one of two ways and like been absolutely terrible. Or it works, and it does work. And as you say, I'm I'm intrigued. I need to see if I can find their either their EPs or album, whatever. I'm going to have to go hunt the internet to weird and wonderful places to find stuff but yeah, yeah. i'm being a intrigued to see if they've done their own stuff or whether if they are just a a cover band as such whether they pick up other people's stuff or if it is just yeah they just do maximum hormone songs or what because yeah this is the thing with japanese music that really does intrigue me is just how it works differently there than yeah, we said there's, there's a lot of um, education, although when you use that word, it makes it sound a bit grim, but there's a lot of learning for us, isn't there, in in that, I think, in some of the bands we've touched on, um, we've learned little bits and bobs, you know, kind of, uh, and sometimes, like, the thing that's been really sort of stark has been how much involvement the studios have. Um, it feels almost kind of restrictively 80s pop um, kind of um, involvement, um, and yeah, now that we're hearing about that, you could have franchises of bands and, and stuff. <laughs> um, but you know, it, 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 it's it's only really you only really pick away if you're finding music you like, which we are. Um, yeah. But it's almost that extra layer, isn't it? That understanding how the music industry works around the world, not just um, listening to uh, music from around the world. Yes. So, as we said, if you understand or know anything about uh, yeah, exactly and how this all works. 
we will be much grateful. Um, because yeah, we'll also, I'm um, I'm calling it now, we, we, we will revisit them again, but um, also, um, I want the I want at some point in not too distant for us to do the original of this so I can compare and really any excuse to get more maximum the hormone on the channel. I'll take exactly. It. Um, as always, like, subscribe, ring the bell on all those lovely bits. And until next time, goodbye.